And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Game three of the National League Wild Card Series coming your way on the show. It's the Minnesota Twins taking on the Houston Astros. John Shambi, Chris Singleton with you. Postseason baseball, Singy. It's always great to see and be a part of. Oh, Boog, you just never know what's in store when it comes to postseason baseball. You do know you're going to see some amazing pitching, guys coming out of the bullpen throwing 100, some incredible defensive plays, some big knocks, and maybe a mistake or two that'll live on forever. All I do know is I'm pumped up for this one. First pitch coming at you right after the break. just about set to go and getting to start Christian Javier lots of punch outs a real strikeout artist singing try to stay back for that power changeup. speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge hitters they have a hard time staying back here's the rookie third baseman number 47 splits the plate so we're off and running in game three Left-hand batter waits. In there at the knees, and that is strike two. And that just misses. It's a good take. And now it's one and two. That one missing inside. And now it's three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And here's a three two. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Now, this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. That's in there. Strike one. Looked like it was a little bit up. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. High fly ball down the left field line. Way back there. Caught just shy of the wall. That is her. The designated hitter. Here's Royce Lewis. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First pitch just misses. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Javier with a move to first. And he's back safely. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Ball misses. Bro, and they got him. That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. to kick the 2 -oh. just off the inside edge the right hander gives up the two out walk one of the things about that two out walk the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead so a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two out RBI and those are the best 
That is if you are the offensive side of it. Now batting Max Kepler. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. And the righty deals. And that one is in for a strike. Runner on the go. There's the ball. Throw, save. That's a stolen base. Well, in the postseason, I'd say we see more teams playing for one run, trying to apply some pressure, and that's exactly the case right here. Speed on the bases, put him in motion, and it worked out. Now time to execute in the batter's box. Here's a 2-1. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. It was my wrist and my hand. Tucker should have it. And that is that. Twins wind up stranding one. Now here come the Astros. No score. This is the National League Wild Card Series on the show. Back here at Minute Maid Park. Starting on the mound in this one, it's Sonny Gray. Well, I'm interested to see how he utilizes his sinker to this lineup, Rube. You know, it's not necessarily his go-to primary pitch, but he does mix it in when he needs it. He's just got to make sure that it's not flat. Otherwise, it's going to get hit hard. So look for him to throw it up there when he needs a big double play, a ground ball, something like that to get out of an inning, change it up for a hitter. Also, get those hitters looking down so that it opens up the top of the strike zone, especially late in a bat. Jose Altuve oh leading my. things off and takes a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, this guy is so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. That misses. It's a ball and two strikes. 0-2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at-bat. In the air right side. And it hops over the wall for an automatic double. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. Here's Alex Bregman. First pitch, oh, not no, close. No. Righty to the plate. And that one fouled off. Runner at second. Nobody out. Right side. Kepler puts it away. Runner tagging for third. And he makes it up to third with one away. That is good. The right here. Here's Kyle Tucker. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Rip to first, caught. Yikes, that ball was scorched. An absolute missile, and it almost becomes self-defense as the fielder when one of those things comes screaming towards you. Watch your lips. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. 
Next pitch downstairs, two and one. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. No score yet, but a runner at third with two away. Left hand hitter waits. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. The pitch. And another ball. Jose Abreu up next for the Astros. Altuve at third with two away. Hot shot to first base and he snags it to end the inning. So the Astros leave one. We played an inning. No score. Top of the second. Here's Alex Kirilov. The first base is number 19. Alex Kirilov. Javier back to work. And takes low for ball one. That's inside. Oh, yeah. Eric Summers Gill with home plate duty of this one. Kind of known for being generous with the corners, Chris. You know, I think that used to be a lot bigger deal in past eras where pitchers were working more in and out with their pitches. But yeah, we'll see if those corners come into play in this one. Hey, no pitcher's going to argue at all. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. And the count is even two and two. Short hop liner handled it short. Awesome play there. Here's Carlos Correa. And that one missing low. No score here in the second. In for a strike. And the count one and one. One down, base is empty. Started after it. Appeal to first. And he went around. Ruled a swing. Next pitch is outside. Yeah, the right hater deals. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Two up, two down in the top of the second. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there, just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. And now Matt Walmer. And that misses off the outside edge. Catches the corner. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. The pitch. Aye. And there's a strike. One ball, two strikes. Two oh, balls, man. two strikes to count with two outs. Battling here as he fouls it away. Here's the 2 2. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Twins are set down 1 2 3. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score.
bottom of the second. And stepping in for the Astros, Jose Abreu. Jose Abreu. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. And there's a ball. Packed house here at Minute Maid. Next one misses, and the count is 2-0. Oh. No, Fouled off. He was late. The wind of the pitch. That one missed. Downstairs and it misses ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. And Michael Brantley is going to come up to hit. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Well, a come-and-get-me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. Missing inside, and the count even one and one. Hard hit, knocks it down. Correa to second, out there, but that's all they'll get. Chaz McCormick up next for the Astros. First pitch, and he just misses. As a veteran out there on the ball, you're trying to establish both edges of the plate. Right here, he's working inside. Brantley leads off first with one away. And a foul ball. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Good nope. eye right there. And ball that one three. just missed off the outside edge. Three ball, one strike. And a pitch. And strike two. And boy, that was the pitch. 3 1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. At the belt and fires. And that's ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make the call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. So up next, Jeremy Pena. Swing and a miss, and it's 0-1. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. And here it comes. That one finds the corner. That's strike two. Check swing. Appeal to first. No, he held up. The one-two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Runners at first and second with one gone. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. And the pitch. Fouls it off. Still one and two. Two on, one out. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy.
So first and second with two outs. Martin Maldonado up to hit. Whips it to Kirilov. That's the inning. Two left for the Astros. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here at the ballpark, on to the third inning. And now the catcher comes up to him. Ryan Jeffers. The pitch. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Grabs it on the run. One down. Michael A. Taylor, the next twin up to hit. First offering and it just misses. And that's a pitch early in this game. He needs called for a strike. Struggling with command issues. He's got to get a little help from the umpire. There's the strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. And a 1-1. One -one. And a big swing and a miss. Two strikes. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. And stepping in is the speedy number 47. And first offering is fouled off. Top of the third, no score. There's a strike. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, should be a good outing for him. Righty delivers. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Back here in Houston as we go to the last of the third. Jose Altuve up to hit here. Altuve. Altuve hitting leadoff in today's game. And he took home the Silver Slugger last year in the American League. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Fought off foul. And a pitch. And that's through there for a strike. That just misses, and it's two and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Taylor moving back for this one. And there's one away. Third baseman number two, Alan Bregman. Now it's Alex Bregman. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. And ball one. The next pitch misses, and that's ball two. Oh, no. That clips the corner. Now 
Ground one fouled off two and two. The wind and the pitch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Just misses with that one. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Kicks and fires. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And there's ball four. Balliard is tripped to first right there. It's not easy laying off pitches that just miss the zone like that. And it's a real discipline as well. He's put a lot of work into that aspect of his game, and it paid off right there. Tucker takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. There's a strike. Bregman, the base runner at first with one out. Bregman runs. Cut on and miss. Throw to second. Tag. Out at second. Well, I really didn't expect him to try to steal second base because he had a very standard lead at best. If you're going to try to get there safely, you've got to get more on that lead. You've got to get a better jump. That was the difference between being safe and out. Next pitch misses inside. Two and two. That's a little bit low. You're Don Alvarez. Up next. Three, two now. And he walked him. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some real issues with control. Here's Jordan Alvarez. And first offering is fouled off. On the ground and foul ball. Way upstairs. Now one and two. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. Well, it's a really good pass of the ball right there. Just a little bit too quick. He's got to find a way. Just let it travel a hair more. And now it's yep. even up. That's Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Caught him looking for the K. One left for Houston, and we're still knotted at zero. Welcome back. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Jorge Polanco. Javier, back to work. And a strike in there. Well, these twins just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Next offering is in for a strike. Up the middle. And Polanco is out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And next is the designated hitter, Royce Lewis. He reached out a walk his first time. And that's in for a strike. And that 
that one is lifted in the air and that'll fall for a base hit you know what they say he couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that and certainly the case that time just flared it back behind the second baseman and dropped it in there and now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first Max Kepler at the plate he's over one That one ripped. Back there. And it's gone. Max Kepler knocks one out. And they jump ahead in the fourth. It's 2 nothing. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Alex Kirilov, the next twin up to hit. Grounded out to short in his first trip. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. Bounced up the middle. Fires to first on the run. That's it out. I love how guys at this level are able to slow the game down, whether it's in the batter's box or on defense. And right there, that was a good job of knowing just how much time he had. We talk about that internal clock. He was able to gather himself, get a good grip, and make an accurate throw across the diamond. And here comes Carlos Correa. First offering misses badly for ball one. Two down, nobody on. Strike on the inside corner. Swing and a miss as he was late. I think he was sitting off speed there. And it's even up. And now the count filled up three and two. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. But the Twins bring in two on the homer. It's now a 2 nothing. Back here in Houston. Bottom of the inning. And a batter now. Jose Abreu. Jose well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he... Now a fly ball to right center. That's down. One hops off the wall. Into second with a double. And they've got something brewing now. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. First pitch fastball, a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. Here's Michael Brantley. 0 for 1. He hit into a fielder's choice his first time. Right down to shoot. And that's strike one. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. Left field way back there. That'll touch down off the base of the fence. So next up for Houston, Chaz McCormick. Line drive, caught! Man, he really turned on that one. Absolutely ripped it towards third, but great cat-like reflexes down there at the high corner to bring it down. 
Now it's the shortstop. Jeremy Pena went down on strikes his first time through. That's in for a strike. Yeah, that's too high. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Next pitch is outside. Martin Maldonado to bat next. Abreu at second. Brantley at first. One gone. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Got him looking. Now two out. Ooh, he was shopping at the buckle right there, the way that slider made him look. That was just nasty. The catch it. Marty. Maldonado. So first and second with two outs. Martin Maldonado now at the plate. He's 0 for 1. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And the righty deals. And now two and nothing. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Swings through that one. No, that's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. And talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Next pitch misses. Full count now. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if he can find some open grass in the outfield. 3-2. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Two left on. We played four. It's the Twins two and the Astros nothing. Welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth. Now the left fielder, Matt Walmer. And the right hater back to work. And first offering is fouled off. A one down. And that one a little bit high. One and one. Next pitch way upstairs. Swings through that one out in front that time. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. There's a swing and a drive. Tucker going back. And that one is going to go. A towering shot to right. And they boost their lead. It's 3-0. Booth, clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. Ryan Jeffers at the plate. And a foul ball.
Swings and misses. 0-2. Oh Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Got him swinging. He swung over top of the curveball. Well, when you swing through that one breaking ball that puts you up against the ropes with two strikes, you think he's either going to double up or try to blow a fastball by you at the next pitch. And right there, he snapped off another curve, and it was the same result as the pitch before. Taylor nope, in ball. now. Takes ball one off the plate. Nope, one and oh. Swing and a miss, a and it's one, one and one. And a pitch. That's a ball. Two balls, one strike. Hammers that one deep left field, and forget it. He'll touch them all, and they add a run. It's 4-0. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. So the lineup flips over. So up next for Minnesota, number 47. First pitch Whoa, doesn't down. find the zone. Right through there for a strike. Activity in the Houston bullpen. Jose Urquidy getting ready to go. Martinez getting loose as well. Still only one out here in the inning. They say it went. One ball, two strikes. The punch out there. Two gone now. So two down now, and here is Jorge Polanco. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. And there's a strike. And delivers outside. Set down on strikes. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. Back here at Minute Maid Park. John Chavi with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Jose Altuve. The right-hander back to work. Check swing. Went around. Going one. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Strike two. Minnesota's bullpen with some action. Chris Paddock warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli. Thunderbird, a left-hander, also throwing. 0-2 now. Out to short. Oh, great stop to first. Nicely done for the out. Great cat-like reflexes right there. Lays out, knocks the ball down, and then fires with that rocket arm all the way across the diamond. Man, put this guy on the mound. And now it's Alex Bregman. Good 
Good eye right there. On the ground to third. Whips it across. And a couple of quick outs. The right fielder, number 30, Kyle. Tucker. Two outs, base is empty. And the batter now, Kyle Tucker. That clips the zone. That's strike one. Well, impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count, and you can play around a little bit more as the bat expands. And now the 0 1. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. And that keeps the inning going. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Two outs, runner at first. Here's the center fielder, Jordan Alvarez. On, and first offering is fouled off. Tucker off of first with two away. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Now a relay to the plate. And he's out. Cut down and that ends the inning. Always exciting to see a play at the plate. Trying to score with two outs, but the tag just gets him in time. And they cut down the run to end the inning. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Jose Urquidy. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. Number 65, Jose. Now it's the Twins' DH, Royce Lewis. The pitch. That's outside. 1-0. Urquidy, the six-foot righty, 27 years old, and he's a native of Mexico. That misses. Two balls, no strikes. Action in the pen down there. Brian Abreu, a right-hander with big strikeout stuff, is getting it fired up. Maton warming up as well. The wide to kick the pitch. Ball three. Three balls, no strikes. That just missed. He walked him on four pitches. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and the guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. So now it's the four hole hitter, Max Kepler. He's already homered here in this one. Urquidy picks the first. Back in there standing. Swing and a ball lifted left field. McCormick has it sized up. Pulls it in, and there's one away. Oh, the throw is wild. And now for the Twins, Alex Kirilov. Alex Kirilov. Urquidy throws the first, and he's back in standing. That hits the dirt. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. Here we go after. 
ground ball could be two. Over to Abreu, and that's an out. Now Correa up to hit. Foul ball. Runner leads away at second. And that one fouled off. In the dirt, but kept close. And he throws it away. Lewis around third. He's safe. Well, you're already down in the game, and not just by a couple. And then that error allows a run to score. And this is where things can really start to fall apart. As a team, they need to pick themselves up, find a way to play better baseball the rest of the way. Walmer, the next twin up to hit. He's already homered in this game. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Runner at second, two down. Swing and a high fly ball to left. McCormick makes the catch, and that'll do it. No hits, but an error to walk leads to a run. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Twins five, and the Astros nothing. Back here in Houston, the bottom of the sixth Astros. inning. Jose Abreu up to hit. Jose Abreu. Gray back to work. Oh. Just missed. Count one and oh. And he hits a ground ball right side. To first. Oh. That takes care of a brave. Now that the designated hitter. Michael. Michael Brantley stands Brantley. in one for two. And that's in there for strike one. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top level guy like this. Line drive, and it goes just foul. Got it. And there's two away. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Two outs, base is empty. Chaz McCormick. Up next for the Astros. Cold strike right there. Hey. On the corner for a strike. Oh, a two down. Next offering is outside. And he's close as he's trying to get through six full innings right now. He's about to throw his 100th pitch. I'd be surprised if this isn't it for him. This to center field. And puts the squeeze on that. And that is that. Astros go down one, two, three. It's five, nothing. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the top of the seventh, and now the Twins catcher, Ryan Jeffers. 
Ryan Jeff the wind of the pitch upstairs nope. swing and a ball lined out towards center Alvarez makes the grab one away so digging in Michael A. Taylor coming off an absolute bomb in his last at bat and it's fouled away strike two Ball one, one ball. there. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Over to Abreu, and two away to start the seventh. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with the high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Number 47 stands in now and watches strike one. The next offering misses, and that's ball one. Chopper right side. Altuve slings to first, third out. Down go the Twins in order. But they hold a 5-0 lead. Bottom of the seventh. Here's the shortstop at the play. Jeremy Pena. Here comes a pitch. Slice down the right side. Pitch. Check swing. Now to look down to first. And Freddie Ferguson says he went around. The 0 2. One ball, two strikes. And yeah, the 1 2 misses to even the count. And it's filled up. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick because word will get around the league in a hurry. Maldonado, batting with one down, takes a strike. That's to third. Whips it to Kirillov. Two up, two down. The bat, the second baseman, Jose. Altuve. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. One for three. In there for strike one. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front. Swing and a miss. Had him way out front of the slur. One, two, three, go the Astros. Still looking at that five-nothing deficit.
We're at the top of the eight. Leading off, Jorge Polanco. The pitch. Breaking ball through there for a strike. They always say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. Gives a little bit more confidence to move to the at bat. And he deals. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. Right handed reliever. The other way. McCormick puts the squeeze on that one. And a quick out number one. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Lewis in the box with one away as he takes ball one. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. They say you win. Swing and a miss. And the count one and two. Do that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Pena. Over to first. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front, rolled over it, put it on the ground. So up next, Max Kepler. To the right side. Altuve gets it to first, and it's a 1 2 3 inning. Twins retired in short order as they are unable to add to their 5 0 lead. New arm out of the bullpen, Cody Funderburg. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should You're come in throwing lead. strikes, attacking now, these hitters. Number 55, Cody Thunderbird. Stepping in, Alex Leading Bregman. The, Astros, the third baseman, Alex Bregman. And the pitch. That one clips the outside corner, and that is strike one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Chris Paddock warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli. And here it comes. Up the middle. Correa whips it to first on the run. And they get Bregman for the out. The right fielder, number 30, Kyle. Kyle Tucker up next for the Astros. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. First pitch just misses. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. Left hand batter waits. Edge of the zone called a strike, and the count is one and one. pitch ground ball up the middle lays out but he can't squeeze it he puts it in his pocket safe at first without a play that was just a total nightmare for lefties I'd be very surprised to see that match up again high fastball even a little above the zone but such a good job of staying tall on the backside get that barrel there to meet it just in time I tell you what it's not easy to do now, you're Don Alvarez. First pitch, and he just misses. K-1. 
kicks and deals. Just missed. Ground ball right side. And that one finds its way through. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And maybe they've got something going here, trying to get back into this one. Abreu stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. Hit on the ground, might be two. Gets to it and knocks it down. Short enough to swing and went right back up the middle. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Now Michael Brantley steps in. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Lifted in the air, out to left. Walner moving under it, brings it in. Runner tagging from third. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. It's 5-1. Sometimes all you got to do is your job, and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play, and a nice job with the sack fly. New pitcher on here, Chris Paddock. He's got a wicked breaking ball in his arsenal, and it's definitely one of his go-to pitches when he needs an out. So two down now, and here is Chaz McCormick. That one's in there, 0 1. There's a high chopper. Jeffers sends it to first, and that is the inning. They get a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. On to the ninth now in game three. It's the Twins five and the Astros one. Back here in Houston, new inning getting started. And now Alex Kirilov. Alex Kirilov. The wind of the pitch. And that curveball drops in there for a strike. Line drive, base hit. The bat, right? I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure. Home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Next to hit, Carlos Correa. Oh. And the first pitch misses for ball one. A little bit low. Nobody out. Runner at first. That's off the mark. Ball three. Three balls, no strike. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. 
Oh, now he's got two runners on after that walk. And things can get out of hand in a hurry in these situations, so he's going to have to find a way to get back into the strike zone. Matt Walmer, the next twin up to hit. Out there to center. That one gets down for a hit. And they're happy to play station to station right here. Bases loaded. Nobody out. But I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. And here's the catcher, Brian Jeffers. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. At the belt and fires. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. I need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop up, something, but you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. Base is juiced. No outs. Next pitch misses way outside. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. That one ripped. McCormick ranging back on it. One run across, and it's off the top of the wall. Pena with a relay throw. Not in time. He's safe at the plate. And they're pulling away up by seven now. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. A new arm into the game, the righty, Brian Abreu. Uh, this guy can bring it velocity-wise. <laughs> Michael A. Taylor, the next twin up to hit. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. Next pitch just misses. Now one and two. Right-hander kicks deals. Way outside. It's two and two. And that's downstairs and outside. Righty delivers. Gets a piece and stays alive. No outs. Runner on second. Lined and that's a base hit. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. Now that third base. And, and here's the Twins leadoff guy, number 47. First offering misses the mark. Runners on the corners, no outs. Swings and misses. And a count one and one. Movement in the bullpen. Kendall Graveman, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening.
One, two now. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. One gone here. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Polanco in the box now. No balls and a strike. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue finish off this hitter. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. 0-2 now. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, kind of a weird pitch and a weird swing on that strikeout. It's just a slider that caught a lot of the plate. I'd say a very hittable location. But in the box, I think he just gave up on it way too early. And by the time he realized it was dropping into the zone, he just fires off a really poor swing. Lewis stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Next offering is down low. Runners on first and third, two away. And that misses upstairs now, three and oh. That one finds the zone, and it's three and one. Ripped on the ground a second. On to first. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. So they get three runs, four hits, no errors, but two are left stranded. 8 9 1 due up in the bottom of inning number nine. It's the Twins eight, and the Astros one. Welcome back. So, bottom of the nine, and now Jeremy Pena. And a pitch. Now one missed. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Emilio Pagan, the veteran right hander, appears to be loosening up. Jax getting cranked up as well. The pitch. Two balls, no nope, strikes to count. Kicks and fires. The That's two on is high. Hit hard, base hit. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much no, higher. No, no, no. Just yep, a very yep. nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. No, 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 Everything no. was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Now it's going to be Martin Maldonado. First offering and it just misses. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. And the 1-0. Now 1-1. One and 1-1. One. One and one. Runner at first with no outs here. On the ground to the left. And that's just foul. Here's a 1-2. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Well, you put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. And That's a ball, ball evens the count. Two balls, two strikes. Got him swinging. You know, Boog, you often think of sliders more that for that horizontal that movement, crazy. but most of the good oh, ones right. have both vertical oh, depth and man. that horizontal movement, and that's what we saw right there. Good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top.
So the Houston lineup turns over at the play. Jose Altuve. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. This one high in the air to left center. Walner makes the grab, and there's two down. Third baseman number two, Alex Bregman. Alex Bregman digs in down. There's a strike. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Just a weak fly ball this time. And that'll wrap it up. The Twins take this one in a blowout.